this image. This image. Some of you may have seen it if you happen to come across this video, some of you haven't. I told myself, I told myself I wasn't going to talk about controversy ever. I told myself I wasn't. But but right now I, I, f I feel like I have to. Now this video may only reach like 10 people. It could reach 10,000. I don't know. But I can't let this sit anymore. Like for anyone who doesn't know about what's going on, um, Scott Cawthon was uh, donating to and supporting certain politicians, um, politicians that I have not gotten the names of, unfortunately, and I feel it is not my um, not my business to state their names. Um, but they have some very some very strange views, some uh, very messed up views of um, uh, people of color. Um, by that, um, not trying to be offensive or anything, but like um, African American people or Asian people, um, and uh, some had, some had, some have some very very controversial views on the LGBTQ community um, which I myself am a part of so oh I bumped my mic um, I, I have to butt in here like he Scott has gone on record to say that he he never meant like anything against those communities he never meant anything against them and well people people aren't seeing that people are going as far as to censor uh, the name Scott or the name Cawthon or uh, the abbreviation FNAF Five Nights at Freddy's um, and I, I can't stand for it anymore. Like, that game series, I, it, it, it's my childhood. And I'm still, I'm still young. I'm still young. It came out, the first game came out when I was nine. And, well, yeah, nine, ten even, I think. But anyway, I'm... I'm proud to say that I was there at the beginning and I will be there at the end to support Scott in any way I can but this has gone way too far and has been blown highly out of proportion now do I agree with what Scott did do I agree no no, I don't. I don't agree with what he did, but I also understand he did not do it out of spite. Do I think that... Oh, something I forgot to touch on. Um, He's been getting threats. Threats that people are going to harm or kill him, harm or kill his family, and... I haven't been creating content for long. Like, as of this, I have not been creating content for long. But I I know how it feels to be, to be put down for the stuff you create. Like, I said I I, I, um, I didn't create for long, but I, I used to. Like, create every now and then. I had a relatively small, um, relatively small channel, which I'm not going to name. But, um, this, this whole controversy with Scott has gone 
like I I don't know what to say. I I don't normally talk about stuff like this. I I don't normally just talk about how I'm feeling about these things and honestly I don't know if I'm any good at it. I I I know I suck at it. But that's not what we're on about today. Um Nothing was meant. Like he he never intended to harm anyone. And I know if this if this video reaches thousands of people, people are going to be saying, "Oh, that I'm racist or that I'm homophobic because I am choosing to um support Scott in whatever he may do in the future." And I don't care. Like I know I'm not racist and I'm not homophobic. I mean, I'm part of the the LGBTQ community. So like I'm not homophobic. I know that much and I know I'm not racist. So what anyone thinks of me, I don't really care. I mean, yeah, it will get to me eventually. But after a while, I'll blow it off because I know that I am not racist and I'm not homophobic. And Scott from just seeing him on live streams and on that um, Q&A he did with um, Darko. He, he is not a malicious person. He is... He has been... Everyone who knows him and has made a video about this has said he is a kind man who treats everyone fairly with the same manner of respect. And... If it's gotten to the point where he feels like he has to retire from the Five Nights at Freddy's series, or franchise rather, and pass on the torch to somebody else, I mean, I feel happy for him because he gets to retire early and enjoy life with his family. He was mid-30s when he started, and now he's mid-40s. And... He was able to make something of himself while he was like what people would call middle aged. I would not I would not call mid thirties or mid forties middle aged at all, but like that's my opinion. This this has gotten really far out of hand. Like I remember when I was I want to say 14 I think I was 14 15 I had I had nobody like <laughs> now I'm getting all emotional saying this um I had nobody and by nobody I don't mean I had literally nobody I had my family of course but outside of my family I had no one no one I could talk to no one no friends really and it's not because I didn't leave the house, because, I mean, I didn't, but it's not because of that. It's because I was bullied relentlessly as a child. Um, I was bullied to the point where uh, I have developed a lot of mental health issues that I will not talk about in this video. But from a young age, I've been dealing with them. And... I remember... Sitting down... On my phone... Playing... The Five Nights at Freddy's games, getting lost in this realm of... Horror and fantasy. Somewhere I felt that I... I belonged. I was... I was... I still... I joined the... Amino community a few years back, the Fire of Freddy's one, and I'm still in it to this day because I felt welcome there. I know I belong. I have a place where I can talk to like minded individuals like me. And. But I remember playing those games and just loving the story that Scott Cawthon had crafted and. To see him step away from that, 
because he f- he's afraid because he feels like the threats are getting too much for him it's it's fucking stupid i i have to swear here this it it's fucking stupid and with the image on screen he saved a single piece, not, not a single piece, he saved every piece of fan art he got and keeps it in a box and he hopes when he has a bigger living room that he can put up a collage of all this fan art he's been sent throughout the seven years he has worked on this series. And yes, it's sad to see him have to step away from this. And I wish he didn't have to. I really, really wish that that he could stay and work on it. And I, I feel like he is. I feel like he is going to stay and give advice to whoever he passes the torch on to. But I don't think the series will ever have the same flair after Security Breach. Because Scott won't be around. Scott won't be the one in charge of it. And is that a better change or a worse change? Well, we'll have to wait and see. And as I said, I did not want to make a video on this. I really didn't. I did not want to talk about this. This is a series I grew up with. A series I saw me going to the end with. And I was here at the beginning. And I will stay, I will stay to the end of this series. No matter what happens. I don't understand why people are taking this out on him just because they don't agree with what he did. I don't agree with what he did either. But I'm choosing to support the games because it's... He didn't mean to harm anyone. I don't think he even knew. Now he might have known. I don't know. But I, I think he did not know. Like about any of this. About the racist views or the homophobic views. I don't think he knew at all. But. At the end of the day. He gets to go and enjoy his life with his family now. He wants to, he misses making games for his children. He misses making RPGs. It, as he says, he misses making RPGs even though he sucks at it. And you have to give him some sort of respect. Like, no matter what your views are on this man, you have to show him some sort of respect. Because he crafted a story from a game he saw going nowhere. He turned this creepy once-off idea of haunted animatronics into a series that is known worldwide. It's on big consoles now. It's not just an indie game anymore. And Security Breach is going to be a proper triple A game. But this all just seems like it's gone over lots of people's heads. They're looking at the decisions he made and not like why he made them. He donated to these politicians and racist and homophobic views and all of that, I, I get it. Believe me, I get it. And if I was to do something like that, I wouldn't be surprised if someone was in love with me either. But death threats, threatening to kill him and his family, to harm him and his family. This is gone. This has gone way too far. People need to sit down and understand that 
Scott is a person at the end of the day, not a company, not a machine, a person. Scott Cawthon is a living, breathing, walking, talking, blinking, bleeding man. And people are sending him death threats and threatening to harm his family. Like it's going out of style. It disgusts me. It really does. To see a community that I was so fond of. That I was proud to be a part of. Degrade into something so... So... I can't even think of a word for it. Like Neanderthals. But... I think this has gone too far. I really do. And my voice isn't the only one being heard. Isn't the only one voicing their opinion. Um, Super Horror Bro and Doco have both posted videos. And I will link their videos in the description. Because I feel like their voices need to be heard just as much as mine. Okay, and I'm done. I'm done putting up with it. Like, I've seen lots of companies get flack for views and stuff they've done like this. But, like, yeah, Scott did this, but no one seems to give a shit that Apple uses, like, sweatshops, do they? A child labor over in China? No one cares. No one even mentions it. But people love bringing up the fact that Scott uh, donated to racist and homophobic politicians. This is just... This has gone too far. I'm not putting an end screen at the end of this video. I'm really not. And I just wanted to say, like... I want to give my piece. I... I don't know what to say. I, I really don't. This is just... I'd love to... I would have loved... To talk to him. At least once or twice. To get to know him. To know Scott. So I could speak as his friend. But I can't. I, I can't because I... I don't know Scott personally. I, I don't. I wish I did, but I don't. And... To be honest, I think... It's best if he takes a break for a while so we can clear his head and... Think about what he's going to do. Like, these threats and messages have drived him to the point of having to retire from the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Or the franchise, rather. And it's, it's not fair. This is a franchise he worked his ass off to build. He worked every hour of every day when making those games and he sold them for as cheap as he could he didn't ask for big amounts of money he's a man that although I don't know him I have a lot of respect for him I have a lot of respect for that man because his games got me out of multiple dark periods in my life. I'm going, th I, I'm honestly going through a dark period in my life right now. And Security Breach is the one thing that I'm hoping for. That it, like, like the games before it can pull me out of it. It's just not fair.
you know like I'm ashamed of this community I really am I'm ashamed of the finance for this community not everyone a lot of people I think most people are sitting here supporting Scott but the ones that have emailed him and threatened him and threatened his family. That's too far. That is too far. You don't do that. That's the one thing I will never put up with. I, I, I put up with a lot. Growing up, I put up with a lot. And I will still put up with a lot. But I will never, ever put up with someone threatening to kill another human being for something as minuscule as this censoring the 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 the, the what's the word the not abbreviation the you know what i mean the name of the series and censoring the name of the creator I think I I think while I was scrolling through Twitter a few times, I saw people censoring Steel Wool and Click Team. It's it's not fair. It really isn't. Put yourself if you even what if you're still even watching this far, put yourself in the shoes of Scott Carlton. You did something you didn't mean to do and now you're being sent hundreds upon thousands of death threats to the point where you have to retire from your passion how the fuck would you feel and you can say all you want you can say all you want i'm i'm licking his ass or i'm talking shit go on ahead i'm not turning off comments not turning off likes or dislikes i would love to see just what every single one of you thinks of this. In fact, I encourage you to voice your opinion in the comments. I think we all need to support Scott in what's going on. Because, like I keep saying, at the end of the day, he's a human being. And he has a family that he cares for deeply. And He's retiring, and this is only my opinion, but I feel he's retiring, not because he fears for himself, but he fears for what's going to happen to them if he does not. And it's just not fair. Like I said, there's going to be no end screen for this one, and I'm linking Super Harbro and Darko's videos in the description. If any of you, if any single one of you have watched this entire thing and listened to me ramble about how I feel about this entire thing, I thank you. I really do. And I want you to go onto Twitter and message Scott and don't, don't, um, say anything bad. Don't, don't put him down. Don't be a cunt. I don't care if you don't like that word. I'm going to say it. Don't be a dick. Be kind. Be caring. Show him you give a shit. Show him he's not alone. Even if you've never played the games before. Even if you don't even know who Scott is. You just know about the controversy. Just give him your support, please. He needs this. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say for this one. So long, farewell, and I'll see you all in the next show.